Hey guys, Chuk here with Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. Chuck with Alaskan Ballistics. Well, we're going to do a re uh, comparison video. I just got the P365 XL, and um, there's a couple things I like about it and a couple things I don't like about it, which I'll talk about, but we're going to compare it to the 43X because it's in the same family of thin single stack carry guns, and I wanted to compare them right off the bat it's almost the exact same size of course it's thinner than the 43x but the one thing i am impressed about is you've got almost a centimeter less of butt sticking out than the 43x on the 365 xl and you can go look at all the specs i'm not going to go through all the specs i really did like the night sights and the the ability to put on a red dot um, but I'm very impressed with how they designed it. It's got a 12 round mag that goes in there and it's still, you're taking up less space than the 43X, which has only got a 10 round mag. Um, things right off the bat that I don't like about it is you can see how thin the magwell is here. Uh, it almost feels like you could crush it with your hand and, uh, I like a little bit of the palm swell, but it's it's a teeny grip. You feel like you're holding a kid's plastic squirt gun. Um, so I don't like that. But if it, I'll consider carrying it. Uh, I got 300 rounds here of just some 115 cheap range ammo, 115 grain. Chuck's got some nicer ammo. He's going to do a test on his channel. Uh, we'll see if it shoots that better. But I'm looking for reliability. I'm, I'm eventually going to get to a thousand rounds, maybe if I don't trade it before then. But uh, we're going to shoot 300 rounds today, and we'll see if there's any uh, malfunctions. There was a failure to go into battery, and Chuck and I think it's because of these these mags. These mags are really tight. The springs are loaded really tight. It's very hard to get the last round in there. So we're just going to see. What do you, what do you think about this gun so far, Chuck? I love the night sight. The front night sight is just awesome. I like the front serrations that it comes with, and the optic option is awesome. The trigger, we've talked about the trigger and the reset on this. It's it's phenomenal. Uh, hands down beats the Glock there. For me, I have small hands for a dude. For me, the grip just doesn't quite cut it. So if you're looking to, maybe you have man paws and you're looking for something smaller and you're thinking this would be better than the 365, the XL would be better. Yeah, it's probably a, a smidgen better on the grip, but not not much. No. I mean, I've shot a P365, uh, didn't, don't have it on my channel, I don't own one, and not much. I'm also worried about the reliability because Harry's Holsters has that great video where he had some issues, and we just cleaned this thing, and hopefully we won't have any issues. He had issues starting about 165 rounds through the gun on that 1,000-round torture test video that he did. And he's got a couple of videos on that, so make sure you go check him out there. And but I, I think you know if it runs reliably, you know the, the first batches of 365s were either good or bad. And some people had thousands of rounds, and some people couldn't make it through the first thousand rounds. You know, so hopefully you've got a good one. That, that's all I've got to say about that. Yeah, I'm also worried because I watched Harry's uh, Harry's holsters video, and that's also the other thing I really like. That's why I would consider carrying this because it conceals better than the 43X. But uh, it's got this X trigger, feels almost like the trigger I had on that P229 Legion. Um, you know, it kicks off at 90 degrees and the reset is just incredible. The trigger feels amazing. So I would consider carrying it because of the sights, concealability and the trigger, but we'll see. We're just going to have to see how it does. So let's shoot some rounds through it. Let's do it. Okay, brand new factory P365 XL. Uh, these are the first shots. Brand new gun. Impressive. Okay, first mag, no problems. Shoot, spray, and pray. Very impressive. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Let me get that. Firing fast when it's half. Looks like a failure to eject. Double feed. Uh, round, round 200. Just when I was saying. Oh, well, that was the second round of Mag 19. Oh, man. Well, it looks like I'll be sticking with Glock 43X after all. Yeah, well, this thing's impressive. But it is one jam. It is it is getting hot and dirty. Yeah. But okay. still, two or 300 rounds should be able to go through without that happening. Wow. So, and that's that's... That's just to rack it open and dump it out. But now it's at the point where it wants to ra uh, rack another round, so. Almost a double feed. Oh, and that slide is almost too hot to touch. Wow. Yeah. Well, so. all right, let's keep going. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe it's my bad vibes. Could have been your negativity. Could have been my negativity. Stop with them negative waves. Do the rest of them just fine. Let's try that other mag. Try this other mag. This thing is really, it's excessively hot for this, this amount of rounds. I mean, you can feel it in the polymer, the heat in the polymer. Not so, bad, not bad, that one's much better. All oh. right, we've had one failure one malfunction the second round rounds. of mag 19 mag 19 interesting and it is getting hot we could let it cool down for a while so mag 28 and 29 were over 300 rounds only had one malfunction really like the capacity of this been fine for me but all right just for comparison I'm gonna see how I like to feel the Glock 43x oh, I like it way better is it really that much better the feel yeah I just it's got a fatter grip I can't get over that teeny little grip yeah. On the SIG, but I still like the way it shoots. But well, Let me shoot it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so the 43X here, we've already shot this gun a lot. Courtney shot it on my channel over on Alaskan Ballistics, so check out that video. Um, Glock 43X, much better grip to me than the... the uh, SIG P365XL. It's just because it's a hair longer and I can actually, I got small hands for a dude. I can actually get my full hand on this one. I can on the P365XL. I thought it was going to be as long as this one and it's not. Um, so let's just shoot it and have fun. I'm sure the trigger is going to be better on the XL. The, the grip texture is better on the XL by far, but the grip length and how it fits my hand, a little bit better on the Glock 43X. Here we go. I feel like I can control this one better too. The trigger's nowhere near as good, but I feel like I can control that rapid fire better. I've, they were all right around that stump I was shooting at. So that's our Alaskan steel target stumps because we can't afford to ship steel up here. So make sure you check out Chook's Patreon to ship him some steel targets. All right, guys. Well, we shot 396 rounds out of the P365XL. It is very hot. Um, I already know that SIGs break after one or two thousand rounds. Um, Do It Right has tested that a lot. He loves breaking guns. Um, so my interest was just seeing how reliable I could get it. Um, and we had one malfunction. Just under 400 rounds, we had one malfunction. What do you think, Chuck? Yeah, that one malfunction was uh, a little weird for me. Uh, it wasn't me lip wristing it, I don't think. And um, when you limp wrist it, generally it's a malfunction going into the gun, magazine, into the gun. Um, not always, uh, but generally. And that was that was kind of a reverse stove pipe type thing, failure to extract. And so I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I was running the gun pretty fast then. I'm just thinking maybe with light rounds or different rounds, it may just 
not like being run that fast with the slide and the spring pressure and that's we were talking about Harry's video and how we think it was probably mag springs and because these mag springs are a little tough once you get down to the 12th round um, they're not too bad they're not unbearable you don't need a mag loader or one of those pansy loader things for you Maglula mm -hmm. sorry Maglula but yeah pansy loader things but you know we're thinking it's that um, but one malfunction the gun was extremely hot could have been ammo related because this is all cheap range ammo we know occasionally cheap range ammo has issues itself um, to me I don't think it would have been ammo related because it because the extractor pulled it out of the chamber but didn't the ejector didn't kick it all the way out and the it had actually let go from the extractor so I think I think it could be an ammo issue it seems like it, it maybe that round just didn't have enough gunpowder to get it all the way out who knows I was actually impressed and uh, check out Chuck's latest video too he's gonna have a video up today where he does some actual carry ammo so we'll see how it does with that but I was actually impressed and I'm actually gonna carry it the reason being is because it is way more concealable. I love single stack uh, guns for concealability. Both of these are in very low holsters. This is going to conceal much better, and I'm going to have two extra rounds in it. So I'm probably going to start carrying it. Um, I was expecting a lot more malfunctions after watching Harry's video, but I'm actually pretty impressed, and it, it didn't malfunction for me. Um, so I feel pretty confident with it. So I'm actually thinking what of carrying it. What are you saying? It. It's my bad vibes? It could have been your negativity, but uh, I don't like uh, the thin handle uh, as far as shooting comfort. I, I like the 43X a lot better, but uh, for concealability, it's amazing, and the trigger was amazing. I'm very impressed with the trigger. Trigger's much better. The night sights, I'm probably not going to get an optic for it. We'll see, because then that's harder to conceal, but um, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs up, and I probably will start carrying it, so... We'll see, but we'll go up to a thousand rounds eventually, but that's about 400 rounds with only one malfunction. Um, I'm actually impressed. Yeah, and we didn't really give the gun a good cleaning. Chuk got here and said, oh, it's just got packing grease in it. And so I brought out some rim oil because he's, a, you know, clean a gun before you shoot it. And so we didn't really give it a, a thorough good cleaning. I brought out some rim oil and an old sweatshirt to wipe it down. And... So for that, it's actually done pretty good because packing grease will foul a gun up pretty quickly, all right? Yep, so we'll see. I, I'm getting the 15-round uh, mag in the mail tomorrow, so we'll have another video testing that out. But uh, I don't know. I'm actually impressed. I'm going to start carrying it. I so. see Chuk trading me a Glock 43X in the future. It could happen. It I'm, could happen. I'm trying to fight it. but Courtney wants one really badly. We'll see. Come on, for, for the bride. All right, we'll see. I'll consider it. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm such an addict. I'm actually considering it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>